What's up, everybody? It's LT Giles here, and this is Story Time of LT number 17. How's everybody's Sunday afternoon going? It's been a strange weekend with Ronda Rousey losing. The Broncos are getting their ass kicked. I don't know what the score is now. Patriots were losing. It's just The Saints got smashed. This is just a strange weekend, man. But anyways, glad glad to have y'all here for this, this weekend for Story Time of LT number 17. So, when I was a kid... I used to go to Circus Circus a lot, like um, going all the rides and stuff, play the arcade. They got this thing called the Venture Dome. Well, me, a lot of friends, we were all hanging out. We would go like to the Midway or go to the rides and stuff. You know, just hang out on a, it's probably a Saturday night or a Friday night because I was a, a teenager. So, you know, I was in school. So, was, yeah, either Friday night or Saturday night. Sunday night was school night. Or Sunday night, you couldn't go out because school the next morning. But anyways, we're all hanging out, having a good old time hitting on girls, doing everything, all that stuff I just mentioned. And somehow, I get stranded from the crowd, from my friends. Every, I had a ride with, with one of my friends. Well, anyways, I'm, I'm alone. And I spent all my money. I, I had spent some money on McDonald's. Um, I think I spent all my money on arcades and toys or, like, games and shit. Well, anyways, so I'm freaking out. Don't even have change for the bus. Or the payphone. And back then, the bus was only like 50 cents. But anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like, man, am I going to walk home? I'm like, shit, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like going to the bus stop. And I'm like, man, maybe I'm going to ask the bus driver for a free ride. Anyway, so I'm a 49ers fan. If y'all don't know, we ain't doing too good. <laughs> but anyway, so this guy is walking, walking by. And he's got a, he's got a, a Jerry Rice jersey up. Big ass gold chain. I think this dude was Puerto Rican, maybe Dominican. I don't know. He's from, I think he's from the East Coast, but he was a Niners fan. Anyway, so I'm like, man, hey, bro, you want to have 50 cents for the bus, would you? He's like, here you go. And he gives me $50. $50. I'm like, wow. So, get, so this is a funny thing. So I, I'm not going to go back in the casino and break this shit. The bus just came after he gave me the $50. I get on the bus. I'm like, bus driver, can I get a free ride? I'm just trying to get home. My friends left me. Bus driver, let's be on. <laughs> so I catch the bus home. My brother's there playing a the game. You know, we always used to play Madden and everything back then. Well, my brother says, you pass your curfew. Mom's sleeping, and I'm telling. I'm like, damn, man, really? Well, check this out, bro. I got $50. How much of this would I have to give you so you wouldn't tell? He was like, just give me 30 and you. I mean, give me 20 and you keep 30 so the next day we went to the store, bought us a bunch of like candy and treats and shit. I mean that's what we used to buy back then, and I had money left over. And um, the next weekend, there was this girl named Jessica that I liked in school, and I asked her out, and I ended up taking her to the movies. We had a good old time, but you know that was a really great time in, in my life. You know I got lucky. Well, anyway, so second story is, and I'll be bring this up because. Alright, so when I was real little and I used to play hooky or tell my mom I'm not feeling good, she'd be like, okay, you're going to stay home, you're going to watch soap operas with me. That's right, soap operas. And it was horrible at first. I used to hate it, so that's why I didn't want to miss school. But anyways, so one of her soap operas I liked, Days of Our Lives, they had this evil villain named Stefano. This dude would destroy everybody's life. And then they had a, a cool dude named Bo Brady who was a cop, and he would always like... Help Hope, or him and Hope was together, and he would always, like, fight Stefano and John Black, too. I like John Black, mainly because my name is John. And there was this one time where Stefano, like, brainwashed John, and he had to get back his memory and everything. And even, like, his girlfriend, I can't remember her name. He's like, why are you listening to the lies? But lately, and I guess it's partly because my mom passed away last year, and I miss her. I've been watching the days of our lives. Everybody looks the same. Like, John looks the same, but a little bit older, Bo. And then all the kids that were kids are all grown. And it's funny because I know a lot of people watch soap operas, and I don't really. And lately, I, I've been TiVoing it, TiVoing it and, like, fast-forwarding through the parts I don't like and seeing the characters that I know. And it's just old school, man. It just, you know, it's just crazy to see these old characters and stuff. And they're still on. And I found out just... Another show she liked was Guy in Light. And I didn't really watch that show, but I knew a few of the characters. But lately, I was just looking looking up like characters on Wikipedia. And I found out that Guy in Light was around in the 30s on the radio. Because back in those days, people would listen to games, shows, even TV shows on the radio. And it's crazy. 
I can't picture listening to the radio like a TV show. I mean, that it just boggles me. Even like back in the day, they would like listen to fights and stuff like when Joe Lewis was around. And even Muhammad Ali, before TVs were out, people would just gather around and listen to the radio. And it's funny because I listen to podcasts. You know, even when we listen to audiobooks, it's like kind of like the same thing. But no, it was just really cool, and I just wanted to mention that. But um, anyways, it's been story time at LT number seventeen. Check out the Hypes Watch channel. It's our our crew. We got a new channel. Check out um, yesterday they did a Clash of Queen, Queens. You can find that on Sweet YFT's channel, and um, we did Slam the Slayer on JD's channel. Check that out, JD the Dragon. It was, it was really fun. I got on my tweet page. I, I tweeted it yesterday. Even follow me on Twitter. So at Sir TL, at Sir TL Giles. Same as my channel. Um, but anyways, y'all. This is Storytime with Hill Team number 17. See you guys next week.